So we are leaving the Berry Islands tomorrow. Woo. Isn't that right, Tambi? That is right. We are going to Rose Island and then we're going to go to the Exumas. Yep. But we probably need to take this dinghy apart and store it on the front of the boat before we make the crossing from the Berry Islands to New Providence. You know, that's a, that's a fair stretch of deep water, probably 35-ish miles. And, uh, you know, for those kind of deep water trips, I really feel better about having this broken down on the deck, even though it is kind of a pain to break down. But we are going to show you the process of breaking this dinghy down and storing it on the deck. Okay, just showing you what the final product is here. The bottom half of the dinghy is beneath the big half. I have a red strap run through this hole and out the other hole that these large, uh, basically motorcycle tie-down straps attach to. These are stainless steel. There's another one over there and they are just clipped into the tow rail. And then up here on the front, it's kind of a sort of a similar situation going on that's just a pile of you know ropes and stuff back there but these tie downs are crisscrossed across the front of the boat uh you know to keep it from sliding one way or another and i do have to take care to clip them behind this hatch so that i can get to you know anchoring equipment and such as that but uh yeah it is quite secure up here um I don't know how it would be like in really, really bad offshore conditions, but in the Bahamas where we can really pick and choose our weather windows, I feel like this is a very, um, you know, effective way of tying down this dinghy on this boat. Yep. So there you have it. Hi. One small little bit of bad news is that we discovered a bit of, hmm, not really damage, but a place where the fiberglass and epoxy is failing along this joint. See those cracks right there? Uh, I guess this is just really a high load area for this dinghy. You know, the way the forward half is bolted to this, maybe it's just putting a lot of torque you know, this way on this joint. But I think what I'm gonna end up doing is taking this two day opportunity that we have right now while it's up and out of the water, probably just kind of run some fiberglass tape 
uh, and epoxy over this joint. You know, sand, sand it down, clean it up really good with alcohol or acetone, and then, you know, just run some fiberglass over that. It's going to be kind of ugly, but at least it'll, you know, make it structurally secure again. But, uh, you know, the paint is holding up really well. The hardware is doing fine. Well, I may, I may have spoken too soon when I said the hardware is doing fine. I think the washers that I used to put this hardware in is rusting, even though I was meticulously uh, careful to select stainless steel hardware. Uh, obviously, that particular stainless steel hardware is not uh, holding up to the job. Okay, I think that's it. Tomorrow, onward to New Providence. And the next day, we'll be onward to the Exumas. Woohoo! You're just so darn cute. All right, so I just completed a little uh, fiberglass repair on the dinghy here. It is sunset now and just barely got this thing done. Well, it doesn't look all that great in the picture, but um, that is uh, two layers of fiberglass cloth wrapped over that, uh, that corner of the dinghy, which was, uh, or, or looked like it was starting to separate a little bit. So hopefully that beefs it up a little bit. Uh, kind of hurts me to do that, to uh, ugly up the dinghy, but it's much more important that it be, you know, that to, uh, to head off some kind of problem like that before it gets any worse. So I may paint it, but I probably won't. So hopefully that will be the end of that problem. So yeah, that is my first fiberglass repair while we were actually, you know, out actually cruising. So, pretty good, pretty good. Tambi, what do you think about how resourceful and talented your husband is? You're amazing. just letting you know we are releasing a new sailboat story t-shirt we're doing this through bonfire so it's only available for two weeks this one is summer 2019 the throwback graphic so get yours now